All right, Rich Van Tassel here. It is Friday, February 12th, 2016. Your little morning quick take here. I wasn't planning on doing anything this morning, but of course we look for the news, see if there's anything up. And we see that Derek Fisher apparently was also uh, potentially involved with the uh, girlfriend of Tim Hardaway Jr. who was playing for the Knicks. Now, there was a lot of talk made. Of course, we did the Flash News alert about Derek Fisher being fired. Uh, I was a little surprised by it. I didn't think the team was playing that bad. But the more and more that uh, gets revealed in the coming days, uh, it looks like Derek Fisher was fired for what was going on off the court and not really what was going on on the court. Of course, you had that situation with Matt Barnes and his uh, fiance, wife, whatever she is. Uh, Gloria Govan is her name. She uh, was, of course, on the show Basketball Wives. They were on there. So she's uh, relatively well-known. And uh, there was that scenario. Supposedly there was a fight at the house. Now we're seeing this, that apparently uh, Derek Fisher was dating the player of or the girlfriend of Tim Hardaway Jr. Now, Tim Hardaway Jr., I believe, was a rookie either last season or the season before. So he's a fairly young guy. And I can't expect the girlfriend was much older. Derek Fisher, I don't believe, is 40 yet. He might be just above 40, but... Uh, he's not terribly old for a coach, but still, you know, he's dating a woman close to half his age. Uh, I was always under the belief that Derek Fisher was still married. Uh, I don't really get into guys' personal lives. I know there was a few years ago, Derek Fisher had a problem with his daughter. Uh, she was sick, and uh, he, like, showed up to a playoff game late and uh, made the announcement there. So, obviously, he, you know, was a family man at that point, and I'm not saying that he's still not a good father, but... You look at the situation, and certainly if you're doing all these things off the court and starting to bring a bad uh, image to the brand, which is the New York Knicks, then they're going to let him go. So really, I don't care what he does in his personal life, but it just looks like this is more of the reason why he was relieved of his duties and not anything that has to do with what was going on with the team's play because I thought they were performing a little better despite their recent skid. So they'll go into all-star break, and they'll try to figure that out. All right, that's your little quick take for this morning. Remember, I'll be on the radio, uh, 90.5 HD3, between 3 and 4 Eastern Time today. If you'd like to listen there, I will also be recording what I do and putting it up for YouTube. I'll be doing uh, a player profile for an NBA. I'll look at um, the Sacramento Kings situation with George Carl, what they're doing. And then I will give you another uh, piece about what's going on moving forward uh, for the rest of the year after the All-Star break, what to look for. So be sure to check that out as well. And uh, remember, we also appreciate any subscriptions. Thank you all very much.